The Ukrainian operation in Kursk Oblast is the most effective offensive of the entire war. Ukrainian intelligence discovered the Russians' weak points. Special forces crossed the border in advance to prepare the territory. When the Ukrainian armed forces crossed the Russian border on August the 6th, it was a textbook example of what strategists call a combined arms maneuver. As reported by The Telegraph, the Defense Forces combined infantry, armor, artillery and engineering equipment to destroy the enemy's defenses. At the same time, Russian UAVs and sensors were blinded by electronic warfare. An air defense umbrella blocked the skies above the Ukrainian military from Russian aircraft. At first, it looked like a limited cross-border raid. Preparations were made in such secrecy that Ukraine's allies seemed as in the dark as its enemies. Volodymyr Zelensky had learned the lessons of the 2023 counter-offensive when Russia took advantage of a long warning period to build a three-mile-deep belt of mines, barbed wire and gun emplacements. This time, Ukraine caught the Russians by surprise, the article says. The Kursk operation can be considered the most significant victory for Ukraine in two years. Russian infrastructure is deteriorating, bridges are being destroyed, gas installations are being damaged. More airfields, oil refineries and supply depots are now within attack radius. According to journalists, the main goal was to change the situation inside Russia, making war less attractive and turning key figures against Vladimir Putin. In addition, after last year's failed counter-offensive, Ukraine needed a morale boost. With this operation, Zelensky reminded Ukrainians in one blow that they could still win. The same message has reached Ukraine's allies in Europe and the United States, some of whom have asked whether they should perpetuate a war that is clearly unwinnable. It now seems clear that if Kyiv's NATO partners allow long-range missiles into Russia, Ukraine will continue to make gains. The third goal of this offensive was to draw Russian forces out of Ukraine. It was also important to capture many prisoners of war so that they could later exchange them for their defenders. Now the mothers of Russian conscripts are pushing for more exchanges. Most likely, Putin does not want to acknowledge the enormity of what happened, namely that the special operation to seize Kiev in a few days instead led to the fighting moving to Mother Russia. The publication notes, Russia has not run out of money yet. But outside the big cities, the problems of spiraling inflation, shortages of goods and labor as emigration exacerbates the impact of conscription and the diversion of labor to military production are becoming impossible to disguise despite the central bank's best attempts to paint a world with optimistic figures. Many generals and oligarchs will see Putin isolating, shaming and destroying their country in pursuit of what is little more than a personal obsession caused by reading too much history during quarantine, the journalists concluded.